So I'm just going to make this video as I work on a um, putting up some curtains. I have a shitty landlord and because he's such a selfish motherfucker, <laughs> he's forcing the one-handed guy to do the two-handed job. Um, he got some curtains in. <clears throat> and to me, this is very simple. All you have to do is put in the curtain rod holders and then put in the curtains. Like, like <laughs> I even got a stud finder. We know where the studs are. Because for the last, I don't know how many years, he's just been going straight to the drywall with the blinds and they've been ripping out the anchors, etc. So... To me, this is an intellectual failure. This is a mental failure. This is a psychological failure, which is not his fault. He has a condition from being very inbred and white inbreeding in the deep south. This is not a um, not knocking that. Giving my gene mutation of schizophrenia is caused by heavy inbreeding amongst the Spanish conquistador colonies. Nonetheless. I am finding it crazy that I am the one who is forced to complete this job because he can't simply attach curtain rod holders to a wall. And this is really frustrating me because I'm in school right now. And I'm trying to learn violin and shit like that. So this shitty rat piece of shit, <laughs> which is not his fault, it's a mental illness is fucking demanding my time, eating my time, etc. It's so fucking annoying. I just want to cook some fucking food, get to fucking school and violin, and that's that. Instead, I gotta deal with this shitty motherfucker, right? Just the shitbaggiest fucking shitbagness. <laughs> it's selfish fucking goyim. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but anyway. Oh, right, and while I'm doing that, I just want to cook some fucking dinner, but because the landlord's brain doesn't work the way normal brains do, um, I've got to rewash my hands over and over and over again because he is the grossest person I've ever lived with. And so he leaves this uh, bacon pan leaning over here, and my arm just touched it unintentionally. Uh, man has no concept of cross-contamination, which again is his fault, inbreeding, brain damage, dementia from medication, as well as the inbreeding, genetics, etc. Uh, but this isn't about that. No, this is about the wife simulation. I'll have some thoughts on that. So, in that simulator, <laughs> there's some... Uh, Things that God, I get tired of this shit. That uh, I just want to specify. I don't want women with tattoos. I don't want women who aren't virgins. And I don't want women who go out in public dressed as whores. But damned if she doesn't look beautiful and have a really hot body. <laughs> that does appeal to me. But I don't want. Why would I want a wife who's going to go out dressed like a whore, right? Showing all her skin for all the men to see. No, that's mine. That's for me. I don't want to... Why would I want to marry a woman who whores on the internet? And so hundreds and thousands of guys have already seen everything on the internet. Tattoos are a sign of whorishness as well, etc. That's why it's just the simulator. All those women can look so pretty and so hot on the internet... But they'll still fuck you over and backstab you and steal your shit and cheat on you and, you know, just all the horrible things that women do. <sighs> so, in a sense, I know it's I'm not going to reproduce with these things, but in, in so many ways it's actually better than a real woman because no matter how beautiful and sexy she is, they have their dark sides. <laughs> Just some more uh, psychological observations on what I presume to be most likely early onset dementia from the landlord. Causal components are hereditary and medication. The medication he's taking is clonopin against his doctor's orders. And the reason 
doctors are trying to get him off of it, according to him, is it's associated with dementia. His dad also died with dementia. And he had grand mal seizures since he was a kid from genetic maladaptive mutations, which I'm going to associate with his anxiety disorder and his dementia. I bought a stud finder. I told him, just read the instructions. He refused, very stubborn, very fuck this shit. And he swears he found the studs. Now I can tell you as someone who just put these screws in the wall, it, it missed the studs. So this is just gonna pull out. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I tried to prevent this stuff and instead of getting cooperation, he's mad at me and he's bitter and he's angry and he's locked himself in his room like a pouting child. And it's really interesting because he associates me with other people that he feels have persecuted him throughout his life. He's told me this. But somehow in all of it, he refuses to see his own hand in people getting mad at him. Right? Like, it's, it's not his fault that he did the fucked up thing that caused people to say, hey, don't do that. No, 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 it's everyone else's fault. <laughs> Perpetual victim. Missed another beam, I can tell you. <laughs> so, why isn't there... This is why a caregiver would be handy. Someone to help. He has a documented disability. Why doesn't he have someone from the government check on him like once a month or once a year? Clearly no family's checking on him. Etc, etc, etc. I mean, why am I the one doing this? Right, why do I have to babysit? Why do I have to be the caregiver? Just because the rent's cheap? And it is, like, the best place I've ever lived. Especially at my income level. Perhaps. It, it's worth it, but not always. It can be a bit frustrating at times. Especially because there's no sense of fairness in this. He, for some reason, is blaming me for his decision to order the curtains. It's very strange. I never asked him to order the curtains. I didn't care if he ordered the curtains, but somehow it's my fault that he ordered these blinds, or curtains. I find it completely odd. That's just spinning. <laughs> so, naturally, these are going to rip out of the wall. Just like the blinds did. Because he refused to read the instructions like a grown-up. And this man is older than me. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> How can there be thousands of years of human evolution? And things are still this shitty and stupid.